Okay, good morning class. So let's continue with yesterday's lesson. So yesterday, I have, I have asked you to do, right? So take out your red pen and mark the answers. So <laughs> mark the questions and see whether your answers are correct or not. Is uh, So question number one, what does it at the end of the first paragraph refer, refer to? So let's look at it in the last paragraph. Okay, so always, whenever they ask questions like this, so always look at the sentence before that, okay? So he says, um, okay, it's a very long thing. Heartbroken Sarah Winchester left her home in Connecticut in the east coast of USA as well as the graves of her husband and her only child and travel across the country to California where a strange obsession awaited her. Did she know that it would last for the rest of her life? So which one did it refer to what? Something, the sentence before that, the nearest thing, which is strange strange obsession so strange obsession so what is answer number one answer number one is d answer number one is d so on your exercise book please mark okay the first question is d i want to check this part make sure you snap this pitch, uh, part as well and uh, make sure you mark it with red pen. I want to see this part as well. Thank you, class. So let's go to question number two. It says, according to the medium, remember medium, people who can uh, communicate with the dead people. Why did Sarah's daughter and husband die? Why? Why? Means the reason. Okay, so let's look at it. Look for the word die. Something about dying. Uh, okay. So, about her name, here, in line number four. After the deaths of her child and her husband, Sarah fell into deep depression and decided to consult a medium. Okay, so we see the keyword medium, we see the keyword death. Always look, when you look for the keyword. And then, according to some sources, the medium explained that her family was being haunted by the ghosts of American soldiers and others killed by the Winchester rifles. Okay. So, which means they are they were killed by ghosts, which were killed by the Winchester rifles. So, let's see whether there are answers or not. Okay. So, question number two. Okay. The answer is this one A. The ghosts of gun violence had killed them. So, question number two, the answer is A. The answer is A. Okay, question number three. Why did Sarah Winchester... F what? What a apa? Some more. Did Sarah Winchester find in California? She found a what? Okay. So, let's continue looking at it. So, after she talked about the medium thingy, what did she do? Okay, she... Let's look at paragraph number three. Sarah left Connecticut for California... There in 1884, she bought a small unfinished farmhouse. So she found what? She found a farmhouse. So number three. Number three is, the answer is a bit very funny, but actually is this one. Unfinished farmhouse means you can continue building. Okay, how you change how ma? Belum dibina habis, so can continue to build. So question number three, the answer is a house that she could continue to build. So number three, the answer is B. Continue question number four. Am I too fast? Question number four. What are we told about the blue room? So what are we told? Apa yang kita diberitahu tentang blue room? Woman woman like a blue room. A direct translation, yeah, class. I direct translated the whole thing. So so what do you know about the blue room? Okay, so let's look at the blue room. Okay, let's look at the blue room. The blue room is somewhere in here. This this paragraph. Okay, Sarah Winchester had strange habits. Apparently, she never slept in the same bedroom for two nights in a row because she wanted to confuse any evil spirits that were waiting for her. She also used to visit the blue room. Okay, the keyword is blue room. 
at the center of her house every night to communicate with the good spirits. She would ring a bell at midnight and call them at 2 a.m. when it was time for them to leave. Okay, so continue. And will ask for their guidance for, the, for her construction plans. So, what do you know about the blue room? Okay, she went there to what? She went there to ask for guidance for her construction. Guidance means, ya yeah, hamanat zing, minta mereka punya uh, uh, bimbingan. Meaning, question number four is, she went there to get advice. Mendapat nasihat. Kan hamanya, she went, uh, kei zemyang lai bang zu ta. So, question number four is C. Okay, question number five. What happened at the house after Sarah died? Okay, what happened at the house after Sarah died? Okay, so after Sarah died is towards the last paragraph already. Uh, second last paragraph. It says, after Sarah's, a year after Sarah's death, the house was open to the public. Since then, many people have described strange experiences. Uh, neighbors claim to hear a bell ring at midnight and at 2 a.m. A caretaker heard the sound of a screw slurry turning and hitting the floor, but when he looked around for nothing, tour guides reported seeing ghostly ghosts in the basement of the house. So, what happened after she died? Okay, what happened after she died? Okay, my... F right? Sorry, my phone is... Okay. What happened after she died? Okay. Things, they were unexplained. Unexplained means pun nanti. So, tidak dapat dijelaskan events perkara searching. Guides had strange visitor. Huh? No. Workmen continued to build on it. No. People were too scared to visit it. So, the answer for question number eight. A is because they see ghosts, right? So unexplained means tidak dapat dijelaskan. Pun yang cik serta event searching perkara. So question number five is A. Question number five is A. So let's go to exercise five very fast. An obsession, uh, uh, question number one. An obsession is a strong, not pain, is passion. Uh, semangat kegairahan itu. That's the meaning of uh, passion, yeah. Question number two. Sorry, sometimes I'm just too fast. Okay, question number two. A medium looks for or make contact with death. People, they don't look right. They make contact. What's the meaning of makes make contact? Means berhubung. Go tong communicate. Make contact means communicate. So a medium make contacts with dead people. You can write make contact means uh, communicate. So makes contact. Okay, question number three. The word spirit is another name for, means other than spirit, you can call, also call what? Not monster. We're not talking about aliens. We're not talking about, uh, you know, those monsters that you watch on TV. We're talking about ghosts. So number three, you know that ghost is spirit. Spirit is ghost. Ling Huen. Okay. Ro. Hantu lah, another way to say. Question number four. A victim is someone who... Victim. Mangsa. Choose a victim. Ah, mangsa. Uh, so, hi, sir. Suffers means uh, menderita. Tongku or causes a bad experience. Men, uh, menyebabkan tau zi. Which one is the correct answer? The correct answer is they suffer... They suffer from bad experience. They... Uh, someone who suffers from a bad experience. So question number four is suffers. Question number five. 
a passage is what? In a building. What is the meaning of entrance? Entrance is a uh, loophole. Itu pintu masuk. Or narrow corridor. What is narrow? Narrow means sempit hentai. Corridor se lang. Itu, uh, what is corridor in BM? Uh? Very good. Uh, corridor. Kaki lima. Okay. So, uh, passage is what? Cita ma? Mimi tong tau. Okay. Ingat tak? Laluan. So, which one is the answer? The answer is a narrow corridor. Not entrance, yeah? So, number five is a narrow corridor. Narrow sejai. Sempit corridor means a uh, corridor. Kaki lima. Jolang. Okay. And question number, last question six. An incident. What is the meaning of incident? Not project. Project is something that you do together with your friend. Something that you accomplish. Okay, that's project. But event is perkara yang berlaku. Fasan desu. Okay. Oh, what is the ikka... Uh, Ika party is such an event. Benda mada macam party pun event. Uh, or teachers' day also is an event. Okay. So, but also another meaning for event is an incident. Perkara yang berlaku fasa desu. So, an incident is an event. Okay, you can pause the video for a while and just check again if I was to first just now. I count until five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so class, let's continue. Let's continue with uh, the next page, the lesson in the next page. Okay, page 20. So before that, can you just copy this first? Copy this first. I give you about three minutes to copy. You can pause the video while I count until five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's look at the first, just go through some of the words that I didn't really write because I feel it's very easy for you to just write it in uh, yourself. The first one, alien. Okay, just yesterday we learned the word alien. Alien means why sing ren? Makluk asing. Makluk asing. Why sing ren? Please write down the meaning. Continue the next one, archaeologists. Archaeologists. What is the meaning of archaeologists? Kao gu shi jia hua ali archaeology. What is the, what does a archaeologist does? Okay, what uh what does a archaeology archaeologists do? Sorry, yeah, uh, grammar. Sorry, class. What does a uh, what does an? I'm so sorry. What happened to my grammar this morning? What does an archaeologist do so they study uh, the uh, history for example if they go and uh, they found the bones of the dinosaur they study the bones or they study for example if they found a um, uh, a very very old uh, treasure hunt and they study the, the the things inside the treasure box they study things from the from from the past that is archaeologist whereas historian i want to see i want to explain skip first because i don't want you to confuse what is the meaning of historian historian means these people they study historians they study uh, about the history what happened what happened in the history for example when did malaysia achieve uh, its independence um when did the World War II end? They, they study about Siqing Sijian, Pekara yang berlaku. Whereas archaeologists, uh, they study about the things from the past, like bones, things are benda, uh, tongsi. So archaeologists and historian, okay, these two are of different things, yeah, class. Different things. Make sure not to confuse. Next one, evidence. Okay, we learned this a lot of times already. Evidence, bukti, zhenji. Bukti, zhenji. Okay. Myth, myth, kutai shenhua. Cerita dongeng, for example, mermaids. 
is actually a myth. Yesterday we learned what else? Werewolf is a myth. Um, what else is Kutai Daha? Yang dulu dulu. Putri Gunung Ledang. Ledang Princess, sorry. Ledang Princess that we learned last year. That is a myth. Okay. And the next one. Practical joke. <clears throat> what do you understand by joke? Joke means uh, lucu kan? Uh, just how sell the practical joke. Just wan nong pieren de is wan nong pieren. This is dong zuo, not speaking. The wan nong pieren is using through dong zuo do this thing. What do you mean practical joke? What do you mean by 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 practical joke? This is the meaning of practical joke. The next one yesterday we learned about spirit. This also we learned means ling huen ro. The same mean almost the same with the meaning of ghost. And the last one. Theory. Theory. <clears throat> so theory, the actual meaning is li lun. Theory. But in this exercise, the meaning is not these two. It does not mean li lun. Bukan bermaksud teori. It means opinion. It means opinion. Maksudnya bermaksud kamu punya pendapat nilai ijian. Okay? Okay? Opinion means pendapat ijian. So make sure you write down the meaning. I want to see this part, yeah? So right now, there are eight questions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Eight questions. Eight questions. You do not need to copy the questions. Don't need to copy the questions. Okay? Okay, you might want to tilt or uh, just rotate your handphone for a while. You... What I want to say already, yeah? Oh. Uh, no need to copy the question. Okay, just write down the answer. I give you about 10 minutes. Just number one, if you think the answer is evidence, just write out evidence. Don't need to copy the question. I give you about 8 minutes. Uh, you can pause the video now. I count until I count until five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's continue. Question number one. A king was killed in the old in that old castle. What is the meaning of castle? Castle means uh, tempawa, istana. Legend. Legend is actually almost the same with myth. Means something that is not true, lah, huh? In the past, people believe it, but it's not true. Legend has it that his wife walks the hall at night. Man, his wife. Berjalan di masa malam to wansang so to lai to shi so his what his spirit please use red pen to mark so question number one the answer is spirit okay question number two let's continue looking at it I won't believe the story unless you give me some some what zhenqi bukti so what is the answer the answer is evidence. Evidence. Question number three. There is A or N about why Sarah Winchester built her strange house. People don't know why. So if you just want to give your opinion, which one is the answer? There is a theory, your own opinion. You're not sure whether it's true or not. So question number three, the answer is theory. Question number four. Okay. It wasn't really a ghost you saw. Jerry was playing. Playing what? He was just wanting to remind you playing a practical joke. So the next question, the answer is practical joke. Next question. 
what study and write about important events perkara yang berlaku fasa from the past which one archaeologists or historians okay the answer is historians so when generally everything must be in plural form that's why this historians got s Continue. Does Tim really believe that little green leaf on Mars? What is Mars? Mars, we know, is a planet, right? So we are talking about aliens. Okay, general thing we have to put in plural form. This why this word alien has s aliens. Next one. My father is a ant. Last year he found some ancient. What is the meaning of ancient? Kulau. Purba bones in the Egyptian desert, in the in Egypt yeah class desert is Kwangye ya, itu gurun. So he when he studies about bones, ancient bones, okay ancient means purba kutai, kulau, okay. So he is an archaeologist, archaeologist, archi no archaeologist yeah. Start with an A then E, okay? And the last question. My favorite Greek means Greece. Okay, in the past, Greece plays a very important uh, role in human history. I guess you guys learned about it, right? Uh, what is Greece in BM, uh, in your sejarah? Hmm, suddenly I cannot remember. Greek... In Malay, uh, in your sejarah would be, uh, Yunani, correct? Ne, Yunani. You learn this in your sejarah, right? So Greek is Yunani, which is the current Greece. So my favorite Greek what is about a man called Icarus, I don't know, who flew too close to the sun. Means something that people believe in the past, but you don't know whether it's true or not. So myth. My favorite Greek Greek myth. Myth. Okay, sometimes it's very hard to pronounce the TH, but you have to learn and uh, practice your tongue. Okay, you can pause the video for a while and check your answer. Okay, the next question, the next exercise. For exercise two, I don't need you to copy the question, but I need you to copy these words first. Okay, I give you about uh, two minutes to copy. I count to five. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't need you to copy the whole entire sentence in exercise two, but I need you, for example, if the answer is haunted, a, silly or stupid, I need you to copy at the side of the answer. A, silly or stupid. Don't copy the question, just copy the answers right now. Okay, so I give you about, there are six questions. I give you about eight minutes to do it. Okay, class, eight minutes. I count until five. One, two, three, four. Okay, take out your red pen and let's mark it together. I'm not going to in that old house. Everyone knows that it's haunted. Which one is the meaning of haunted? Meaning of haunted is what? This one. Visited or lived by a ghost. D. So question number one, the answer is D. Visited and haunted by. Visited or lived by. What is the answer? In by Egos. Okay. Question number two. Spooky. Which one is the ans answer? Did you hear the, those sounds in the uh, attic? Attic is those uh, in only orang putih's house usually got la. Uh, ta the. 最上一层有一个特别的房间 Ada bilik lagi istimewa pada tingkat yang paling atas You go and look it up, okay? Did you hear the, those sounds in the attic last night? They were very spooky Means 很可怕 Menakutkan Which one means menakutkan? Frightening 
scary and frightening and spooky. All of these are synonyms. So the answer for that is B, yeah, frightening. Okay, this is adjective, yeah. Fry the fry the ning. Where is my H? H should be here. Fright. Sounds the spelling a bit weird. H G H T Korea. G H T. Okay, correct. And the next one. I can't explain the dog. <coughs> the dog's bizarre, bizarre behavior. Why is it running around the house? Why is it keep on running? Why is it so strange? So bizarre means something that is very uh, strange. Which one is the answer? Very strange. Very strange. So number three, the answer is F. Okay. Very strange. Okay. Very strange. The next one. Question number four. Nobody wants to kill you. Don't be ridiculous. Maybe when you sat down, you said, "Tell me what I'm going to do." Don't talk fake news. Don't talk bad things. 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 Don't talk Hold on, next class. Oh, sorry, class. Number three is not very strange. Bizarre is not just strange. Hen fei fan hen, tapi ada pu yang sangat berbeza betul betul betul. So number three, the answer is not uh, very strange. Number three is different from what is normal or ordinary. Strange is level one. Bizarre is level ten. That is the difference in the meaning. So, sorry, class. I'm so sorry. So number three, the answer is not strange. Number three, the answer is C. Different from what is normal or ordinary. Ordinary. Different from what is normal and ordinary. Different from what is normal or ordinary. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Okay. So what is the answer? Please don't say fake news. Okay. Don't talk about things that are stupid. So ridiculous means silly or stupid. Silly or stupid. Okay. So A, silly or stupid. Okay. Next question. The picture painted. On the wall, walls of the cave. Cave is santong ya itu itu gua. Were remarkable. Remarkable means sangat hebat, sangat sangat hebat. Hen lihat, hen joy. So what is the answer? The answer is E. Wonderful, amazing, wonderful, amazing. And the last question, unusual. The house is unusual. Hen. Yesterday I thought you usual is normal. Unusual is not normal. 就是不平凡，很很奇怪，伤害不利。It got stairs that uh go up to the ceiling. So what is the answer for unusual? Very strange. Very strange. So number six, the answer is very strange. Sorry, our class. This one I came up with my own answer. Cause I don't have the book. I always want to come explain myself, right? <laughs> okay, you can just uh, pause the video for a while to just catch up with whatever that you didn't manage to catch up just now. I count until five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so exercise three. Okay, this is exercise three. Sorry. This is exercise three. Uh, you need to copy everything. Copy everything and circle the correct answer. This is your homework for today. So I want to see this part. You need to finish this part. Then only you are, uh, you con uh, you are considered done for the day. Okay. You need to copy everything and circle the correct answer. Tomorrow I will discuss this. I want to see this part done as well. Yeah. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you, class.